What's up guys? My name is Nifon Tui. You're welcome to my channel. On this channel, I make sewing tutorials. We post new videos every Wednesdays and Saturdays. Um, thank you for subscribing. Don't forget, if you like the video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Do not hesitate to ask me your questions in the comment section below. I will be answering. Um, if you have any requests, something that you want to see me draft, because right now I cannot sew because we are, in, we are uh, currently locked down so please if you have any comments if you have any requests for things on see me draft don't forget do not hesitate to ask me i will be considering your requests um that's as for the ones that will be dropped down below uh so i hope you enjoyed the video have a nice day is that all no i don't think that's all oh yeah that's right if you're interested in um, the classes that i offer um on telegram uh, if you are interested send me a message on this phone number that you can see right here uh send me a whatsapp message on the number that you can see right here and um let's talk this is the timetable that we are going to be dealing with for the next two weeks okay so please have a wonderful day and i'll see you guys later don't forget ask me your question what, what do you, you want, want? You're welcome once again to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make an overlapping skirt with a slit on the side. Now, for this, um, to be able to do this, we're going to need to draft a skirt pattern. Um, please, if you are to use this method to draft your skirt, make sure that you draft it on your paper first before you transfer it to your fabric. Do not use this method if you intend to cut on your fabric um, first, okay? Now, f uh, what we're going to do to begin is that we're going to draft the sketch block, okay? So, I'm going to need to place all my measurements. So, the first step, I'm going to come to the top of the paper. We're going to mark half an inch down, okay? Now, that's going to be where we'll place the waist measurement. The sketch I am drafting, I do not intend to use a band, okay? I don't intend to use a band on the skirt, so I'm not going to subtract anything from her waist to her hip. The waist to her hip is the next thing we're going to place, and then we'll place all our other vertical measurements, okay? So the waist to her hip, her waist to her hip is 8, her waist to her knee is 20, okay? But I'm going to come up by 2 inches so that it doesn't obstruct movement, okay? So I'm going to come up by 2 inches and place it at 18, which is what I have done there. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place the skirt length. Now the skirt length is 37, so I'm going to make a mark at 37 next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to rule horizontal line lines across all these vertical points that i have marked okay so that's where we're going to place the hip so this is the waist this is the hip this is where we're going to place um her knee measurements okay even though i did not take the circumference around both of her knees there's a method that makes that a lot easier and safer okay so now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to start placing all my horizontal measurements so like i said before up here was is the waistline so we're going to place place our waist measurements at this point <clears throat> our waist is 28 28 divided by 4 is 7 i'm going to make a mark at 7 okay the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to place our hip measurements my hip measurements is 38 okay 38 divided by 4 is 9.5 i'm going to make a mark at 9.5 now the next thing i'm going to do is to place that the need to place my knee i didn't take her knee circumference because there is a better method i have been using for years this is not going to give you any issue so what you do is this you subtract two inches from her hip and you place it down here and it will come out just nicely okay so what we're going to do is this you're going to come here and you're going to mark if this is 9.5 you're going to do 9.5 minus 2 inches and you're going to place it down here so 9.5 minus 2 is 7.5 so we're going to make a mark at 7.5 we'll place the exact same thing at the bottom of our skirt okay so i also mark 7.5 there now when that is when you're done with that the next thing the next step is to connect all your dots together okay so i'm going to connect from here to here i'm going to connect from here mm here to here and then i'm going to connect it all the way to the top okay so i'm going to connect it like so 
okay now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to smoothen out my edges okay now the next thing we are basically done with our sketch block the last thing is to place our dots and then add all our allowances but before we get to that we have to slope the front of our skirt this is going to help us reduce some of that that buffiness that happens below the um, belly if the client has a little um, a little um, stomach okay so what we do is this we come to our waistline okay which is the, at the top there we're going to come out by half an inch okay we're going to come out by half an inch like so okay now when we're done with that we're going to drill a line from here to here okay like so so there's a nice slope at the front of the skirt okay now the next step is to place our our that okay so now this is it from here to here is seven point is seven inches what i do for my dart is i'm going to mark the middle of seven inches so i'm going to come to where 3.5 is and i'm going to make a mark there okay the next thing i'm going to do is to place the mark the length of my dart okay so this is what i'm going to do so the length of my dart for the um that i'm using is 4.5 inches okay if you want you can use five inches it still will not hurt you but for the for what I'm doing now, I I want to use 4.5. Okay, I'm going to rule a straight line from top to bottom, and then I'm going to rule from here. I'm going to place half inch, as, as you can see, I place the middle of one, which is half, on this line that I just drew. Okay, I'm going to mark half inch on this side, and then I'm going to mark half inch on this side. Okay, now when you're done with that, you're going to rule a line from this half inch to the beginning. To where the line stops you're going to repeat the exact same thing on this other side now just for the beginners when you see um teachers and tutors online or you see patterns online and you see these cuts as long as there is no cuts okay most times it does not mean that you should cut out the pattern it simply means that when you are stitching this is how much you should stitch okay it doesn't mean that you go ahead and put the scissors in your pattern because if you cut this place out and then you now stitch it again you end up consuming two inches instead of one okay so most times it's just so that you know that this is the amount that you would sew not that you actually cut it now when that is done we place all our allowances okay now normally i keep 1.5 inches all around so here i'm going to come i'm going to place 1.5 inches i'm going to place 1.5 inches i'm going to place 1.5 inches here but up here now i'm going to place 2.5 which is going to be 1.5 the normal allowance i'm keeping plus this one inch 1.5 plus 1 2.5 so up here i'm going to place 2.5 okay so when you are sewing come let me rule this line we're going to rule from here to here so now when you're sewing after you've you have um you've held your darts you should know that when you are sewing they are sewing 1.5 inches keeping this um, excess inside yeah, your lining as your allowance in case your client adds weight and of course comes back and see if she buys the cloth from a boutique she will go back when she adds weight i'm just ranting i have to leave this house soon i don't know what i have to do but i have to leave this house soon. i think i'm trying to go crazy i've been inside the house for three weeks anyway last thing we're going to do is you see this half inch that we slopes down okay this half inch slope now we're going to need to replicate another line at the top because you know if you cut here and you end up turning here with your lining you would have reduced the line too low so this top line you're going to really line from here okay from here to this line so when i'm cutting i'm going to cut on this line okay and the top line is my actual line by the time i sew my half inch at the top it will land at this line exactly i hope that is clear the line on top that i would cut is my allowance please i'll actually sew is on this line okay this is the line i'm going to sew because remember we turn when you are turning the line you turn the the top part with half an inch when, by the time you turn it with half an inch it will land at this point exactly but if we put our scissors here and you sew half an inch you will see that you have come down some more okay so watch me cut now usually usually i will fold my hem under but as you can see there's a straight line here so nothing has changed And we're going to cut here. Okay, so now the next thing to do is to draft the back pattern. 
Okay, now it is time to draft the back. <coughs> Now the first thing you're going to do when you're drafting the back is that you're going to keep the amount of fabric that you intend to use as your zipper allowance. Now I always use 2 inches for my zipper allowance, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark 2 inches, sorry, I'm going to mark 2 inches everywhere from top to bottom, okay? So now I'm going to mark 2 inches here, I'm going to mark 2 inches here, I'm going to mark 2 inches here, I'm going to mark 2 inches here. <laughs> and then I'm going to roll the straight line from top to bottom. So, now that's the first thing you're going to do. You're going to keep your zipper allowance. Then, you're going to take the pattern for the front of your skirt and you're going to place it on the back. Now, remember, keep this point here the same, but you don't keep this point the same because remember, we came down by half an inch. So, keep that point the same, okay? Mark that first half inch that you marked. Mark this point. Mark the knee. Mark the length of the skirt. Now, please, don't be, um, don't um, get worried. And, oh my god, so now what do we do for the dots for the back? No, 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 there is no need to worry about that. Whatever you've done to the front, you have done to the back. So, if you've kept allowance for your dart to the, um, in the front, you have done the same thing at the back. So, there is no need for you to start drawing it out again on your paper when you know where to stitch on your fabric it saves me time saves you time now let's move on these are waistline these are hip line these are knee this is the length of the skirt okay so now that we know that all that is good we've kept our zipper allowance what you're going to do now the only difference is that we're going to extend here we're going to extend here we're going to extend here and extend this line now another thing the back you don't slope the back you only do that slope that we did here when you're drafting the front when you're drafting the back keep the edge of the fabric flat now the other difference is that you have your bomb behind okay so what you're going to do is you're going to have to draw that curve so that by the time you stitch everything sits perfectly now i've done i think i've done this before on the channel but in case you are new let me do it again you're going to come to the middle of your zipper allowance here you're going to make a mark at one inch there okay you're going to come here you're going to make a mark at one inch okay now next thing you're going to do is you're going to draw a curve from here to here and you're going to curve out to here okay so that's what we're going to do now you're going to keep your ruler or keep your curve you're going to draw a line from here to here then you're going to draw a line okay, from here to here like so here to here and then you're going to roll a straight line down okay if you want now you should you should mark one inch at the bottom too okay so that you know where you should connect your lines exactly okay as for everything else around the bodies they will stay exactly the same on this side stay exactly the same the only difference is that we have this shape for the butt here and you do not slope your the back of your skirt so i'm going to cut it out now so that we get to the juicy part mm. remember align this place properly then, i don't know about where you guys are but it's raining crazy i don't know if my mic is picking up the thunderstorm that's happening outside uh, yeah so that side stayed exactly the same nothing has changed and you're going to cut this part it is the same Oh, oh, oh. Now, I'm not singing the song the way, it's, <laughs> the way it goes because I'm not trying to get demonetized. But I really want to sing the song. Anyway, we are done with the back of the skirt. Now, remember, there's a difference at the waist, meaning that you don't stop the waist at the back. We came, marked one inch here, marked one inch here, drew the curve for our butt. We marked one inch at the bottom, drew the line straight down, okay? No other difference. Now, what we're going to do is this. We're about to get to the interesting part. You're going to take your back, okay? You're going to look for somewhere very, very safe. And you're going to keep it. When you're cutting the back on the fabric, you do, this does not change. Nothing happens to this, okay? And then just to clear it up for, in case you are confused, when you are sewing the skirt remember that we kept one and a half inch allowance here by the time you hold the one inch that that we have at this point hmm? let me hold the one inch that you have only 1.5 here you have to join here to here at 1.5 inches on the side but if you notice we have touched the zip 
okay so how many inches do you hold at the zip that's the question that should be on your mind because remember we don't have two inches here and here anymore now this is what you're going to do when you are fixing your zip you're going to so hold one inch allowance here 1.5 here one inch straight down okay you're going to hold your zip your um, zip um, your zipper allowance you're going to hold one inch here 1.5 here one inch all the way down okay so you're going to do one inch 1.5 then slope out to one inch and take it all the way down when you're fixing your zip okay but your zip should not go lower than nine inches okay so we're good to go now to the juicy part to be able to cut the wrap that we are trying that we are here to learn how to cut you're going to need to cut your front two times so you're going to i'm going to now behind the camera cut this exact same pattern again the exact same pattern nothing changes okay i'll see you back here when i'm done with that okay now um at this point i am done with with some um, drafts with cutting both sides for my front now you've already seen the image that attracted you here this um, i stumbled on this picture when i was um, i was just browsing on pinterest you know pinterest the um app if you don't know the app you should get it it's not sponsored by them this is not an advert i wish i was sponsored i mean <laughs> i have almost seventeen thousand subscribers time never reached me to start to sponsor me anyway this this i stumbled on this picture on pinterest and she looks like um juliana you know that lady from J, from juliana and bill that i'm a woman that is a juliana and bill only on a anyway so when i saw this the picture i'm going to you know i'm going to drop a picture right here um as you can see now we've drafted both sides this is how you can cut any wrap at all what you just need is that you need the parts that will be underneath and you need the parts that will be on top okay now i'm going to spread it like this spread it wide then we're going to extend the lines that we can see now if you um if you saw if you notice in the measurements that i gave to you guys earlier the the in the black screen where i said measurements used in this tutorial you will notice that there's a measurement there that says waist to slit 17 inches okay now what that is what that means is that the distance from the waist to the um, part of my of my draft that is supposed to with that her leg is the amount of flesh i intend to expose okay that is what that thing means so you're going to come from here remember we have a half inch swooping here all the way back up so you're going to come from there you're going to make a mark at 17 okay so looks like we have 17 right here okay so this is the amount of flesh i am allowed to expose okay so now what we're going to do is this we're going to cut out the first part now this is the trick you can use this method to cut any type of slits that you want this line here that we have already is showing us the midpoint okay so what we're going to do is we're going to make a curve coming from the side it's going to come run two inches from this line and then go all the way down you don't want to push it too close to this line if not it will not cover it's not cover her leg as it's, um, as it's supposed to it's going to be a bit exposed so from the picture that we are seeing here we have now this is how you should be walking whenever you are trying to cut a wrap walking with the sketch or with the image of whatever that you are working with so that you can always alter this pattern and perform all sorts of, um, all sorts of magic now we're going to come from here okay from the side oh you cannot see you cannot see you cannot see sorry you're going to come from the side okay you're going to come to where four inches is right then you're going to come to this place you're going to mark 2.5 inches away from the midline that we have here so i'm going to make a mark at 2.5 okay you see that and then i'm going to make an arc i'm going to draw a line from here to here i'm going to draw a line from here to here i'm going to make a curve from this point i'm going to make a curve from this point it's here and then we're going to take it all the way down now with this you can do anything and then also there's a question that people asked that all that on what side of of your leg should be exposed when you are trying to do um an overlapping anything now i don't think there's any law i don't even if there is i don't think they should be because some people are more comfortable exposing their their left leg some people um intuitively bring out their right leg so i think you should ask the clients what leg they what 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 is their best leg that they put forward okay what leg did they put forward okay so what we did was this we had the center line we came out by two inches we marked four inches from the side judging from the style that we are following and then we drew a line from here messed the two inches and took it straight down okay now that's what we're going to do for the first part 
okay so now look at what I'm doing okay I'm going to cut here I'm going to cut here and then I'm going to cut it out mm. so now we are done with the first part okay now the next thing we're going to do is the part that is underneath now from the picture that you can see you will see that it is not her legs are very very exposed here meaning that the second part came from around inside here and swooped out and became almost nothing all the way down then there will be a space here for her for her leg so what do we do we do the same thing that we did now you won't just come from the edge and then slice it all the way out you need to come from around somewhere around close to the hip so that from the inside it has some support and it doesn't fall apart all the time okay so we're going to come to where her hip line is we know that the hip line is around uh, sorry we know that the hip line is around eight inches okay so we're going to come to where eight inches is look this is i kept half inch at the top there there's a small space at the top that's for the allowance that we kept we're going to make a line around where her oh sorry around where her hip falls okay and we're going to draw a straight line from top to bottom so now we know that this way her um her line is what we're going to do is we're going to look for that 17 the 17 that we did for her waist to her sleeves okay so we come to 17 and we make a mark okay mm. okay now the next thing we're going to do is you're going to come from the edge because of how small it is you're going to come from the edge and you're going to mark mm. we're going to mark two inches okay now please note you can use this method i'm showing you and you can cut any sort of overlap that you want okay at this point it is limitless and we're going to come out okay then we're going to roll a straight line top to bottom okay now let me quickly cut it before my camera dies Good. So now we have voila. You see that? You see that? Have you seen that? Mwah! Beautiful. It is beautiful. It's an art. It's a work of art. Now you see this slits came out beautifully. Now what we did? Let me run by what I did at the back. Okay. I looked for, I placed her waist to her hip. That's the hip line, 8 inches, okay? Now the side, because of how it looks in the image I'm trying to recreate, we had only 2 inches on the side. So I came to where her waist to her, where her waist to her sleeves was, I drew a line there, okay? I made an arc from here all the way up, hip line. The 2 inches, the hip line, drew a curve. Once I hit that her waist to her, um, to her knee, to her sleeve, sorry, I took a straight line down. When we take it back, and so it stays like this and came out perfectly if you ask me perfect now please remember you can bend and twist this to whatever you want don't ever after seeing this video don't you don't need to to worry yourself about how to cut a wrap anymore okay now there are so many things that this could be okay this could have come from here all the way that it is limitless okay it is limitless from here from here it's just all the way up okay and that's how you will continue going up your skills continue going up your businesses will continue going up um have a lovely day um god bless you you thought we were done no we are not done a little bonus for those of you that will still be confused about how to cut a conventional wrap okay this is a bonus i think that's what i'll be doing from now on most of our videos will be having bonuses i'm on fire today anyway let's continue now if you're trying to cut a wrap that looks like this <clears throat> this is what you're going to do okay you're going to come from here first of all you're going to mark this is a small this is a replica of a skirt okay these are waistline these are hip line these are knee lines the pencil skirt you didn't go all the way down like the long skirt that we have okay now this is the other piece that i cut like the, like the one in the video i just showed you in the video you just saw now what we're going to do is this you're going to come here you're going to come from here and mark the um what you call it what you call it the person's waist to the person's um, um 
slits you know the the amount of flesh person wants to show you measure from here to here ask the person are you comfortable with your flesh and the person says yes i'm very very comfortable you're like that's your business i think it's too low but who am i anyway so you come here the person said i want it right here you're going to make a mark there okay what you're going to do is this you're going to draw a curve okay from here go and draw a curve hit the midline okay hit the midline at that point you see this point here you're going to draw a curve from the side hit the midline at that point the center of your because it's at the center once you cross the center the other side of the of of your client's flesh is showing do you understand okay so you always know where the last is supposed to stop so we're going to draw a curve from the side to the center if you notice there's a crease in my paper this is the center of my pattern okay you see that so i came from that hits that line the center of my paper okay and then i'm going to bring this all the way out you see that by the time we cut by the time we cut it like this see this i'll flip it over voila i'm on fire